You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. It's OBA with Arden Moore. The show that teaches you how to have harmony in the household with your pets. Join Arden as she travels coast to coast to help millions better understand why cats and dogs do what they do. Get the latest scoop on famous faces. They're perfectly pampered pets in Who's Walking Who in Rin Tin Tinseltown. From famous pet experts and best-selling authors to television and movie stars, you'll get the latest buzz from wagging tongues and tails. Garner great pet tips and have a doggone fur-flying fun time. So get ready for the pause and applause as we unleash your all-behave host, America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Welcome to the Old Behave Show on Pet Life Radio. I'm your host, Arden Moore. Now, just in time for the holidays, we make that holidays, there's a special movie you must see. It is called Shelby, a magical holiday tale. And it is now available on DVD and on demand. And, you know, think of it as an early Christmas present for you and all the pet lovers in your life. Here, to tell us more about this holiday tale are the two stars from the movie, actors John Paul Rattan and Addison Holly. Welcome to the show, guys. Hi, thanks hey. for having us, Arden. All right. We're going to learn what it is like for these two young actors to star in a movie with Chevy Chase, Rob Snyder, Tom Arnold, and more, and also work with an adorable Get Into Mischief Beagle right after we pay for this show by taking a commercial break. So... Sit, stay, we'll be right back. Time for a pause. For furry ones, actually, sit and stay. All Behave will be right back. It's designerpetsweaters.com. Hand-knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom-knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports-themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four-legged fashions today. Your pets will stay warm for the winter and be runway ready. Large or small, we fit them all. Designerpetsweaters.com Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com All Behave is back with more tail-wagging ways to achieve harmony in the household with your pets. Now back to your fetching host, America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Welcome back to the Old Behave Show on Pet Life Radio. I'm your host, Arden Moore. We have two talented young actors in the house, and they're starring in a new movie called Shelby, A Magical Holiday Tale. It's available now. It just came out on DVD and on demand. I want you all to give pause and applause to Addison Holly and John Paul Rattan. You know, I am very glad you both could be on the show, guys. Oh, I'm so excited yeah. for doing this. Thanks for having us, Arden. All right. John Paul, you in the house? How you doing, man? Yeah, uh, it's, it's an amazing experience. All right. So we're going to get right into the plot of this holiday movie. Let's start with you, John Paul. Or, you know, we're buds now. We've met like two minutes ago. So I can call you JP too, right? <laughs> yeah, that's Okay. Fine. All right, cool. So you play Jake. Give us a little bit about what the plot is of this holiday movie. Well, I play Jake. He's a 10-year-old boy. And I've always dreamed about becoming a magician. And okay. so throughout the movie, I find a stray puppy. And he be then becomes my best friend and my own escape artist helping me in my magic life. From then on, I have to kind of keep him out of the hands of the dog catcher, who Tom Arnold plays. And um, it's a great family movie for everyone to see, starring Chevy Chase, Tom Arnold. And it's going to be great, yeah. And let's help me out, too, Addison. You play Hallie. Haley? Haley? I play Haley, yes. Okay, tell us about your role. So Haley is Jake, who John Paul plays, cousin. And she's just a fun girl, smart. She's very tech savvy. She's in with all the new technology. She loves her fashion. And she helps Jake in the movie come up with the genius plan that helps save Shelby from the dog catcher. And she just helps Shelby find a good home. 
That sounds good. And let's talk a little bit about the one with the name in the movie, Shelby. I understand how many different, were there more than one beagle in the mix? To there was two. The show? Two. Okay. Yes. So tell us about that. Well, from my point, I know John Paul got to do a, a lot more scenes with the two dogs than I did, but it was just a lot of fun having the dogs on set. I'm and my family are huge animal lovers. I have two dogs of my own, and it was just fun. It kind of, you could tell that it just makes everyone happy in their mood, happy to have dogs on set. Yeah, and let's do a little shout out to your personal dogs. What are their names? Uh, Millie and Bergie. What is it, Millie? Millie and Bergie. Bergie, and what kind of dogs yes. are they? I have a Jack Russell and a Yorkshire Terrier. Oh my gosh, and how do they get along? Well, my <laughs> Jack Russell is 18 years old, is that Millie so, or Bergie? That's Bergie. Okay. So she's a good dog, but she can be a little grumpy sometimes. <laughs> and well, you got a JT and a Yorkie. That's a pretty good combo. And you know, I, is Bergie is older than you, right? Or about the same age now? Oh, yes. No, Bergie is older than me. Bergie's 18 years old. So she was she was part of the family before I was even here. <laughs> so you, you got to mind your elders, even when they have a tail, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, JP? Do you have any? I have no pets. I had a couple of fish, but they they didn't they didn't last as long as eighteen years. But um, <laughs> okay. I definitely uh no dogs. I'm actually my sister and my mom really wanted a dog, but my dad's fairly allergic, so oh. I don't think that would have worked out in my household. But well, but you got to be with them on the set. So what were the two yeah. dogs like that played the role of Shelby? How did you enjoy working with those two dogs? Well, not being, not having dogs around like the household, it was like actually really a cool experience. It was my first movie I did actually with a dog, and that was also a different experience when, um, just like when we're like taking takes and how it all works while having animals on set. But mm -hmm. other than that, it was actually just really fun and enjoyable just to play around with the dogs all day. Isn't it amazing how well they follow their lines and cues? Do you think they're probably uh, less uh, high maintenance than some two-legged movie stars, don't you think? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely. They're actually, they're really trained. They're, well, they're well trained. Right? Actually, it's a young puppy too, but she did a pretty good job. Well, don't you think we should maybe take actors to uh, puppy obedience school? Do you think that might help them out a little bit? <laughs> For <laughs> sure. <laughs> So we're talking again to John Paul Rattan and Addison Holly. They are on the show that's called Shelby, The Magical Holiday Tale. And you two are working with some veteran actors that people have grown up with and loved. I know that Rob Snyder is playing the voice of Shelby. So mm -hmm. let's start with you, Addison. What was it like to, uh, you know, you don't get to see Rob on the movie, but you get to hear him. What was that like? Oh, yeah. Well, growing up, I've watched so many movies that Rob Schneider has been in, and I think he's an amazing actor. He's hilarious. He's so funny. So when I heard that he was playing the voice of Shelby, I was thrilled and excited to hear that and listening to it and listening to his voice. And then you could hear his voice while I'm in a scene. It was a really cool feeling. And JP, what kind of voice attitude, dogitude, would you say Rob depicted to be Shelby? I mean, it's a chick and he's a guy. Yeah, I guess. well, yeah. Uh, definitely he was, uh, he played the dog like the role actually in the voiceovers. He kind of played, he was really kind of silly some parts just to make mm -hmm. it all funny and enjoyable for the family. But um, also some parts he was like, definitely there were some emotional, more emotional parts and times where you had to take time and I thought he played it actually pretty well. Yeah, did, I, did he um, interact at all with the two dogs playing Shelby? Fiz you know, off, you know, not, not in front of the camera, of course, but did he try to bond with the two? As in off camera? Yeah, off camera. Yeah, I think definitely he would have, but um, yeah, I think so. Okay. Now, there's a couple other big names. We're talking about Tom Arnold and Chevy Chase. And, and in my understanding, Tom Arnold plays the um, determined dog catcher. So what was that like? We'll start with you, JP. What would you find that you liked about working with Tom? Poor guy. He had to play the, the bad dude in this. Oh, definitely he played his part really well. He's also a great actor. It was actually a really cool experience working with him. I learned a few things here and there, and especially when we're on set. And he's just a... He's a great guy and like loving to be around and you're never sad or anything, but he definitely he did the job great as being the dog catcher. He he really showed his fear and his anger about the dog getting away and I thought he did really well. You picked up some acting tips from him then. Yeah, well just um 
definitely pointers. He did definitely gave me a lot of support and more of the emotional scenes when Shelby was leaving and all that kind of stuff, but mm-hmm. definitely. And what about you, Addison? How was it to work with Tom Arnold? Well, as his character would be, he's like mean old. He's like the bad guy in the movie, but offset, he's completely opposite. He was such a nice down-to-earth guy and just really friendly and really nice to be around. And we got to talk about Chevy Chase now. I'm going to feel really old, guys. If you combine your age, I'm still way older than you. And I know (laughs) Chevy Chase is way older than me. But (laughs) he has been in some pretty big movies that everybody watches every year. And so what was it like to be with Chevy Chase? Let's go with Addison. Share us a Chevy Chase behind-the-scenes moment with you. (laughs) Okay. Well, I first off like to say that I've watched his movies growing up and all his vacation movies, and having him on set was so much fun. He's just, he was such a fun guy to be around, always cracking jokes, making everyone laugh on set, and he was a big goofball, so much fun. And I think one of my favorite moments with him was in one of our scenes, he plays my grandpa, so we're at the table for Christmas dinner. Right. And he was trying to get, he had a lot of lines because he was telling us stories. And one of his lines was really long, and he kept on messing it up. But every time he messed it up, he wouldn't just stop. He would try to, like, continue to go on and just, like, make (laughs) some stuff up and ad-lib. And it was just so funny when (laughs) the director and everyone was like, okay, um, nope, that's... (laughs) He was just... The way he interacted with the director and the way he just ad-libbed and just made things up was so funny. I couldn't help but laugh. (laughs) That sounds good. What about you, JP? What would you think? What's your uh, Chevy Chase moment? Definitely. I think he's totally a hilarious guy. He's cool. And um, I also have seen all the vacation movies. And um, definitely, I don't know if you remember that, but there was one time where she went to the washroom. It was during a take, and he said he had to go to the washroom. And he went up uh-huh. to the washroom, and he purposely, on the way back, had some, like, toilet paper hanging out of his pants. And <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that, was just, that was so funny. It was, he just came out, and everyone was laughing. The director had no clue what was, everyone was laughing, and he turned around, and he was just like, oh, my God. I was oh, that's that was good. probably that's the good. funniest yeah. moment I've heard about him. So where do you guys come from? A little <laughs> bit of background, because I understand from looking at some of the background from you, John Paul, I'm never going to take you on in a karate match. What is your level of karate expertise? Well, I actually, when I was younger, I used to do karate. I, I think I stopped around the age of 9 or 10, but I got all the way up almost to my brown belt, which was one step down from black. But um, Nice. Definitely. I also filmed a movie, and I had to do a short karate part, and um, this means war. So I guess the skills came a little bit in handy, but yeah. Yeah, that was way back in 2012. Gosh, how, yeah, how old are you well, now, John Paul? I'm 14, going on oh. 23, I think. Okay, and you're going to be uh, getting a drive in a couple of years, right? Yeah, I guess. Nice, nice. Where are you based now? Where's your family? What area of the country? Or Oh, I'm down in Canada. Oh, oh Canada. Canada Where in Canada? What, what? Uh, Toronto, uh, Ontario. Toronto. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. And what about you, Addison? I'm also from Canada, from the Toronto, Ontario area. Okay. So did you guys ever, did you know each other before you got on the Shelby A Magical Holiday Tale? I don't think so. I think the first time we no. met was then, but I knew yeah. uh, I knew a few other things she'd been in, so I kind of knew a bit about her. Yeah. Yeah, I think we might have, like, seen each other at workshops, like acting workshops, but we never oh, yeah, really... Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we oh. did, like, a voiceover acting workshop together when we were, like, really young. But other than that, I think that was our first time we really, truly met. We became really close over the course of filming. Good. And how old are you now, Addison? Then. Yeah. I'm 15. Okay, so, all right, she's only got a year away from driving the car, John Paul. Yes. That's good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> That's right. Hey, everybody, we have two young, talented actors on our show. I'm speaking of John Paul Rattan and Addison Holly. They are in the movie Shelby, a magical holiday tale that is now available on DVD and on demand. We're going to find out more about these talented duo, but we got to pay for the show. So you know the drill. Sit, stay. We'll be right back. Time for a walk on the red carpet, of course. All Behave will be back in a flash right after these messages. Hi, I'm Dana Humphrey, the founder of Whitegate PR. We have been specializing in PR and marketing in the pet industry for over 10 years. 
If you have a pet product or service you would like to promote, give us a call. We can help create awareness for your brand on TV, radio, magazines, newspapers, and blogs. Feel free to reach me directly at 619-414-9307 or learn more on our website at whitegatepr.com or follow us on Facebook. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. Dot com. Hi, this is Amy Schumer. You're listening to Art and More on Pet Life Radio, where they keep it real and make everyone feel like they're pets. We're back from the lot. Just checked the paper, and we had a record showing at the box. The letterbox, that is. Now back to OBHAVE. Here's Art. Welcome back to the Old Behave Show on Pet Life Radio. I'm your host, Arden Moore. I am jazzed that we have John Paul Rattan and Addison Holly in the house. They're on our show today. You guys got to pay attention to these two. They're going to be saying one day, I'd like to thank the Academy and Arden Moore for letting us be a guest on our show for accepting <laughs> this Oscar. Is that right? Is that is that going to, am I clairvoyant or what, guys? <laughs> we'll make sure that happens oh, for oh, sure. Yeah? Okay, we got it. We got it recorded. Okay. Because they're going to be like, oh, she was so oh awesome. God. We're going to thank her and the Oscars. All right. So we know that you're in this film, but you guys may be young in years, but you have quite a resume. You're even an IMBD or DEEIO. I mean, you, you can Google these guys. And I want to start first with you, John Paul, or since we're buds, JP. You know, you mentioned uh, being alongside Reese Witherspoon and Tom Hardy and This Means War. You've had some other pretty famous actors that you've gotten to work with. Let's go ahead, shout out some names and some uh, movies that people will say, oh, yeah, I remember John Paul in that. Yeah. Well, um, recently I just came back from actually Africa, South Africa, and filming a movie with Jerry Ryan. Oh. So that has to be the most recent thing I've done, but the most major things. Before that, I was I uh, played RoboCop's son in the 2014 RoboCop remake. Nice. Um, with Gary Oldman, Abby Cornish, directed by Jose Padilla, and Joel Kinnaman playing RoboCop. And mm-hmm. that was awesome. Also, Michael Keaton. So it's also like it's always astounding to be working with such big actors. You got to work like um, you got to work with another uh, now adult but child actor Haley Joel Osment in I'll Follow You Down. Did he yeah. give you any pointers? Because you know I see dead people. You know that's his famous line. So what was yeah. it like from one child actor that's now an adult to you? Did he give you any pointers? Well, definitely. I had some scenes where. There were more flashbacks, and he kept seeing me So in the movie. And I think that he always used to tell me, when he was a kid, he used to just always just don't worry about anything and just go for it. Like, you never need to hesitate. That's okay. what he's learned over the years. But you never need to hesitate, and I think that's mostly what I've remembered. But definitely, he was also amazing to work with. He's such a great guy. Okay. And Addison, I know you are very talented in not only the voiceover area of movies and TV, but you've been in Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood and you've been in Wish and Poof. Tell us a little bit about some of the folks that you've gotten to be able to be in a cast with. Well, yes, other than working on film and television, I also do a lot of voice work. So I voiced a lot of animated characters. Like you said, Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, I miss Elena on that. Mm -hmm. And there's a new show that's out now on Disney Junior called PJ Masks that I play Owlette in. Nice. And like you said, Wish and Poof, that's on Amazon as well. I also just finished filming a television series called Android where I play Anne and that's on Amazon as well. I think the second season is on it right now. Wow. How did you guys get your start, Addison? Did you come out with the diapers on and tell your mom and dad, you know, acting is the life for me? How did you get your break? Well, I'm also a dancer. I love to dance. So ever since I was young, I've loved to perform and put on a show for anyone who would watch me since I was probably about, I started dancing when I was two years old. So ever since I was two, every time there would be a family gathering or any time there would be anyone at my house that would watch me do something for them, I would put on a show. I would (laughs) sing for them. I also love to sing. I would sing. I would dance. I would reenact movies that I've watched and scenes from that. And I've just always loved to perform. So I think I asked my parents and they knew that that I love to, obviously. So that's, that's kind of how I got into it. No, that sounds good. Now, your sister, Kaylin, is also an actress. I don't know if she's older or younger than you. 
Yes, my sister Callan, she's two years younger than me. She also is an actress. She does voice work. She's in Paw Patrol. She plays Sky uh -huh. and also in Creative Galaxy. Oh, that's great. And uh, John Paul Rattan, we have you here. How did you get your break and what motivated you to say, I, I want to be in acting? Well, for me, it started off while I was watching like really classic movies. My favorite at the time was The Goonies, and I was just under six years old. And I just kept also, like Addison said, she, I kept also like get performing shows and stuff, I guess, just little things. And one day I was kind of just watching TV, and I really wanted to be one guy or one actor on the screen. And so my mom kind of looked into it, and she was we were all really familiar with, like, we weren't really familiar with what it all was about. And right. At the time, we were moving from place in um, Ontario all the way over to Toronto. That's when we decided, you know what, why don't we just go see what it's all about and go maybe see an agent. And for me, that's kind of how it started. And then I just started acting in things. I tried out for a commercial, and that was actually the first commercial I tried out for I got. And um, well, Do you remember what it was? Aqua Doodle. What was it? It was for Aqua Doodle. It was like a Aqua Doodle. It was a pen. It was like so a car would follow the pen. And that's so <laughs> funny. The, the exact same thing happened to me. Okay, what happened? Like the first ever audition I went for, it was also for a commercial. I'd gotten it, and it was just a shock for my family. They're like, "Oh, okay. Well, maybe maybe she can do this then." And what was the commercial, yeah. Addison? It was a commercial for Hell's Kitchen. The show Hell's Kitchen. Oh. It was like it was a family in a kitchen, and it was a reenactment of what the show is. And I was like six at the time, I think, and I was yelling at my brother for ruining the risotto that he made. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. When you two aren't being in a movie on commercial doing voiceover, tell our listeners a couple of things that they don't know about you that you really like to do. We'll start with you, JP. We know you were the karate kid. Uh, you loved karate for a while, but what's some of the things that you do when you're not having to have a script in your hand? Well, when I'm not having a script in my hands, I'm actually probably actually creating a script. I have oh. a pretty big passion for actually making my own films. And recently, I've, as I've just been in my first year of grade nine in high school, I actually got into a film high school at um, a popular high school in my area. And so that's been a blast wow. so far. I've been that's getting great. to make my own films and with all these other kids with the same passion of mine. So I think definitely filming is another one of my side activities other than actual acting. But um, definitely, I also play a pretty like minor league hockey just on Monday nights, which I also enjoy because my mind off things sometimes. You play minor league hockey or you watch it? No, I play it. I just, just like with some friends. What position do you like best on that team? I usually play a left wing. A left wing. So you're getting up there. You've got to score against that goalie, right? Yeah. All right. And Addison, what's something that people would enjoy learning about you? Well, like I said before, I dance a lot on the side, and I also sing. I do singing lessons, and I do dancing lessons, but I also just love to hang around with my family and, my, and just watch movies and just have fun, and I also love to hang out with my friends. I love hanging out with my girlfriends and just going shopping and doing whatever with my friends. I, at school, I directed, I directed a play last year for my school, and that's something that I've kind of started to enjoy is that kind of aspect of the industry. No, that's nice. You guys are both from, oh, Canada. That's a <laughs> great place for young film people, don't you think? I mean, Toronto is really hopping. Well, definitely. I believe that like a lot of film stuff happens in America, but... I mean, like, right now, Toronto is a pretty hot place for all this film stuff, so definitely. Mm -hmm. All right. And again, what's the favorite moment, before we say goodbye, I want you each to give us your favorite moment for being in the movie Shelby, A Magical Holiday Tale. You play Jake, so, John Paul, what was something that you're like, oh, I'm so glad I get to do this scene? Well, I think definitely uh, this, as it being my first like movie with a, a lot of kids in the cast, I think the best part of it was, and the, my favorite moment was when we were doing the scene of like the, the plan to sh save Shelby and we were all dressed in black and we had walkie talkies. It was kind of like a dream I had from when I was a kid about like robbing somewhere a bit kind of thing, <laughs> but we weren't really robbing, but <laughs> yeah, definitely that had to be my, like it got me, it got me so excited. And I think definitely that was my favorite moment of on the shoot. Well, it sounds fun. And what about you, Addison? Well, my favorite thing about Shelby is that it's just such a fun, loving family movie that anyone, the whole family can just get together to watch. And it's just 
a fun Christmas movie that, you know, Christmas movies, they make everyone so happy and just that time of year. So I think that's what I love about Shelby. And especially because there's dogs in it. Who doesn't love dogs? Oof, but power to the paw. <laughs> <laughs> I think, like John Paul said, I we got the kids got really close in the cast and we're like all still really good friends. And I think just everyone in that cast was so nice and it was almost like we were just a big family. No, that sounds wonderful. I gotta yeah. tell you, I'm I'm impressed with both of you. You're you can't even drive a car yet, but you're driving audiences to all the things that you're doing and doing well. <laughs> hey, was that smooth or what, guys? <laughs> this is pretty good. Oh yeah, I gotta write that down. I gotta write that down. <laughs> and you are gonna thank Arden more when you win your Oscars, right? Oh yes. Okay. Right. Why not just make sure? John Paul, I didn't hear from you. Yeah, uh, I will. Okay, thanks. All right. All right. I'm just teasing. You guys, yeah. I'm really, really happy that you could be on our show. Again, I wanna give pause and applause to Addison Holly and John Paul Rattan. They are starring in the movie Shelby, a magical holiday tale with some actor's name i don't know chevy chase tom arnold mm -hmm. rob schneider i don't know these guys i like these guys i like addison and john paul <laughs> so just follow these guys they're doing great things and they're going to continue to do great things in front and probably behind the camera too it sounds like from what mm -hmm. they just told us and uh, i'm never going to do a dance off with you addison i i <laughs> dance like i dance like snoopy so i don't think i'm gonna have oh. an opportunity i got a great snoopy move but you know <laughs> i bow to you maybe we'll see you on Dancing with the Stars someday. You never oh, know. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. John Paul, do you like to dance? Oh, n not really. But <laughs> I got some a few moves in my back pocket if I oh, even need to pull them out. But nice. other than that, I'm a, I'm not a big fan of dancing. Okay, all right. But the <laughs> kid sure no, those karate moves. Yeah, I'm hey, sure Addison um, has a lot more of a wide range of those kind of things. Yeah, that's all right. Well, again, these are the stars from Shelby, A Magical Holiday Tale. It's available on DVD now and on demand. And I also would be remiss without giving a big pause up to my producer, Mark Winter. He produces this show and all the shows on Pet Life Radio, the world's largest pet radio network. But there's a lot of people tuning in, and I hope all the fans of Addison and John Paul will join us and follow our shows. So until next time... This is your flea-free host, Arden Moore, delivering just two words to all you two, three, and four-leggers out there. Oh, behave. Coast to coast and around the world, it's Oh, Behave with Arden Moore. Find out why cats and dogs do the things they do and get the latest buzz from wagging tongues and tails in Rin Tin Tinseltown. From famous pet experts and best-selling authors to television and movie stars, you'll get great tail-wagging pet tips and have a fur-flying fun time. All behave with America's pet edutainer, Arden Moore. Every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.